Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the oscillator warp section, which is right here on oscillator A and right here on oscillator B. These are ways to kind of shape or do interesting things to the actual single cycle before it's sent out into the filter. So we're going to start off with sync. Now oscillator sync, what it does is it kind of repeats um, the cycle multiple times and then it restarts and you'll be able to see what that does so as we we have our init uh, saw wave right here as we increase this we'll get more and more saw waves but then it will kind of restart and uh, it, it gives it an interesting effect right it's pretty uh pretty aggressive and you'll notice that it just it keeps on you know restarting um, if we drop down and go to the next one or hit this arrow we'll see that there's something called a window and what that does is it kind of smooths out the end of the cycle so you get something a bit more the the the, the timbre makes a bit more sense in my opinion and a full window right so it sounds more coherent as a key it's because it like it resets and it sounds pretty cool and it sounds kind of am-ish um yeah so the next one is bend and this is a way to pinch the sound right think of it as like wave shaping so it'll you can either pinch it when it's bend plus bend negative what that does is it pulls it and this is a way to add a bit of a signy ishness to a sound making it you know bassier you'll notice right you'll notice that it sounds a bit more bassier kind of low passy with a bit of saturation anyway uh, you got bend plus and negative so like at zero it's normal a plus or a negative and then positive pinch pinch and pull and you can modulate these sounds rather cool up next we have a pulse pulse width modulation so what this does is it's kind of the same as sync but you have basically silence afterwards so does pretty cool things it's kind of like a uh, square wave adjusting the pulse width on a square wave kind of the same deal pretty interesting asymmetry uh, 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 asymmetry it's similar to bend but bends the entire waveform to the right so it takes like the center and then just pulls it over um, same with this one that takes this basically the opposite It'll pull it over to the right. Plus a negative. It takes the center. So, so right now we're at zero. It takes the center and you can move it left and right. Sounds pretty interesting. Flip will scan it from left to right and then flip it. Or like flip it upside down. Which is a pretty interesting way. Um, this looks familiar. Um, this was done in Zeta. Um, yeah, anyway. Mirror, it'll take the center and then split it. That's some weird stuff. So we have uh, four remap modes. And uh, this is, think of this as another wave shaper, like in our effects kind of section. Right, and we'll kind of do that. We'll make it really extreme-ish. And uh, as we increase the value, you got to like distortion. And that's it's a great way to kind of add meatiness to it, I would say. Um... Yeah, I'll just kind of have it gentle. Right. 
It's too gentle. Anyway, those are the remap modes. We have quantize, which uh, kind of downsamples it. Or bit redux, re reduces the bit rate. The bit depth, sorry. Which sounds pretty good. And it's uh, per voice, I believe. And uh, now we have uh, FM modes. So FM is frequency modulation. And what you're doing is you're modulating the pitch um, of oscillator A with oscillator B. So we're going to activate oscillator B, turn the level down over here. And uh, what we'll do is we will add a sine wave. Right? So we have a sine wave, we have a level down, and uh, we'll just play this. What we'll do is we'll increase the FM from B. Sounds more interesting. We have two sine waves, so you can hear what's going on. What we're doing is we are modulating the pitch of oscillator A with oscillator B. Right? And it makes sense harmonically, so it's pitch tracked, so. Right? And we can adjust the oscillator here. So what you would do is you would have envelope one kind of being modulated. Modulate FM, the FM amount with envelope two. And then you can actually mix in the sine wave as well. Anyway, so I will remove all modulators. AM, so instead of frequency being modulated, we have amplitude being modulated. And this is kind of like a ring modulator. So we have amplitude being modulated. So as you increase it to like pretty high up there, got ring modulation. And what's really important if you're using like high values of uh, amplitude modulation um, or FM. You should really go and turn up the uh, the oscillator sections to four times, four times over sampling, so you can so you don't get aliasing because aliasing is kind of bad. It's AM, RM is actual like ring modulation. It's like, you know, ring modulation. Uh, you have other sources for FM, uh, the noise oscillator or the sub oscillator. And the sub oscillator, um, I would use nine times out of ten because it's just it outputs a sine, a sine wave anyway, and it frees up your other oscillators so you can do other stuff with it. Intense, but you know, you get the idea. Right. Uh, and that's the FM OS. Uh, hope I've been a help. Um, yeah, these are just different ways. So if you have this and your wavetable position, uh, you can get some really nice evolving sounds. Anyway, uh, that's it for me for now. Take care, and we learn stuff. Take care. And we learn stuff and take care.